Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Basket Outdoors. Join me in this one as we go through five more tips for hammock camping. Alright so welcome back everyone, as a new little intro this is 5 more tips for hammock camping. Uh, now if you're a regular to the channel you'll know that I've already done 2 uh, 5 hammock tips uh, which I'll flash up here for you now. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through each one of the tips step by step and go through it. Uh, so yeah hammock camping is all about individualism really. Uh, what's right for me might not be right for you. Uh, but you've just got to give things a go aren't you, you've got to get off the couch as Daniel always says be that person that gets out there and does this uh, but get off the couch go and try a hammock if you've not got one ask someone to lend you one um, and then do all these little tips and tricks that we've I've been taught over the years and now passing on that knowledge to you uh, so I'm not claiming credit for any of this because I was a newbie once as well and um, so yeah if I if I do remember who teach who taught me these I will mention them in the video all right so tip number one is install yourself a nice structural ridge line now if you've not seen already i have done a video on this it's just below this so i'll leave that up here flashing for you now uh, but the idea of a structural ridge line is just to give you a permanent sag in your hammock uh, regardless of how tight your hanging points are uh, obviously everybody's an individual and i do go through some little tips and tricks uh, on how to shorten and lengthen uh, that little ridge line as well so yeah that's tip number one install yourself a structural ridge line okay so tip number two uh, make a structural ridge line organizer or utilize the structural ridge line that you've just just put on to your hammock uh, now the easiest way to do this is by using different bits of paracord little off cuts so i've got here some two mil climbing rope and i've got here some three mil strong climbing rope as well uh, this is the four mil so obviously each one is intended to be slightly smaller than the one so that you can get a bite. So how I'm going to do this uh, is I'm going to make a double fisherman's knot. So I'm going to do two on prussic loops out of the two mil paracord. And then I'm going to tie together the two and the three in between. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Okay, so all I've done there is just make myself two double fisherman loop and prussic knot sort of um, loops here. So all these designed to do are just move up and down your ridge line, okay, to get them to a point where you want. But if you put a bit of pressure on, you know, they won't go anywhere. So yeah, that's what they're designed to do. So that's step one of this ridge line. So the next little step is to then get uh, some free mill, probably about 50 to 60 centimetres of line, uh, and then snip that off. When you've snipped it, then just want to burn both ends. So that you almost cauterise it, I suppose. And just press it in. Press it against the lighter and then you're not actually burning your fingers. Okay, so yeah, that's about 50, 60 centimetres of free mill rope. Okay, so your next step then is to take some little carabiner hook clips um, and then just feed them through, or feed the rope through the eye of that. So you got like this. Same on the other side, so you want two on here. Okay, so when you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. You then just want to tie a very, very simple knot in the end. 
and that's just to stop them clips coming back off so just a simple overhand knot there uh, one on this side as well and that's why you want it on because the hooks will stop look <laughs> okay so then you've got you should have something that looks like this so two overhand knots on the end of about 50 mil and then two little hooks like so next little step is really quite simple okay so you just hook the loops on like so and then pull out to extend that gives you the basis of a simple ridge line organizer okay so when you've done that you can then start to think about how you're going to hang uh, your bits of gear off there so i've brought you a few examples so this is just a small s beaner which you just clip over there and then obviously clip your gear into the bottom of there so that's one option another option is just quite simply taking a pound shot bobble and tying a lark's head into it like so and then you could clip things into the bottom of there so if you've got something on the carabiner already you can just throw that in the bottom of there and the last one is just these simple little line locks uh, again these are available all over so all you do is you'd make you undo your knot move your clip feed it through here maybe get three or four on here um, and then obviously put the line locks in and then little carabiners so I'm just going to show you that last tip uh, now so as I said these little line locks that you can get all over Aliexpress I think I picked these ones up from uh, so what you'll do is you'll take that off your clip and then feed through the larger part here okay and then when you get it to a point on your ridge line if you don't want it to move you can just pull it down into the line lock itself and it should grip it probably four mil would work a little bit better but yeah you can see the principles there so i just brought you back to show you this so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to feed all these little line locks through so i want one facing that way first of all like so and I want one on the reverse so facing the opposite direction we'll come through that way so you've got something that looks like that and then we're just going to put another two on so you can just hang like four uh, little bits of gear so again in reverse you want one facing in and one facing out and that is essentially it you've then got four little hanging points uh, to hang some gear from so i'll just finish this up and bring it back okay so then you just extend out and you've got yourself a nice and simple ridge line organizer and on the bottom of these as well you can utilize the little s beaners if you like going through there coming around and it gives you somewhere to hang your gear from but yeah that's tip number two make yourself a little ridge line organizer and there you go just a simple ridge line using the little line locks and little s beaners okay so tip number three is adopt a diagonal layer where possible um, now diagonal layers are again individual i know some people that can sleep in a hammock um, completely straight and you know they find that very comfortable so it's just trial and error um, for yourself again it's all individual uh, but yeah i find that the diagonal layer helps me get a flatter layer and a lot more comfortable as well uh, so yeah to adapt to a diagonal layer it basically just lay down in your hammock like so and then push your feet out one way and your head out the other and that's just as comfortable as you can be Okay, so now you can see with the diagonal layer, I've got a lot of room either side of me and I can go to the side quite easily and I've still got quite a lot of hammock on the far side of me and the alternative is just laying completely flat or perpendicular with the hammock and you can see the, my shape, my body posture on the camera there automatically came up 
But yeah, this is a, a straight lay, so directly underneath the ridge line. Feet to one carabiner, head to the other carabiner. So yeah, that's uh, tip number three. Adopt a diagonal lay. Alright, so tip number four is to try and get a 30 degree angle on your hang. Uh, now the easiest way to test that, you can see the ridge line coming in here. If you lay your finger up parallel with that, you should almost get a finger and thumb's width. So roughly about a finger and thumb for 30 degree hang. Now that just ensures that you're not putting too much strain on your suspension system and on your carabiners and things. Okay, so tip number five is lower down your head end. Um, I recommend sort of hanging the head end five, five to ten inches somewhere in between, uh, lower than your feet. And this stops you sliding down your hammock in the middle of the night and then finding yourself in a, a little ball in the dead centre of your hammock all crumpled up. If you lower the uh, head end down, it stops you sliding down and you can stay in one position and your feet obviously just slightly higher, five or six inches like I said. Um, you know, and it just stops you from sagging into the bottom of your hammock. That's tip number five. Keep your head end lower. Okay, so this has been another five tips for hammock camping. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you think. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.